that's what that were, or they were. We'll see whether we get comp confirmation on whether that is actually Grace's parents or not. As Kakao looking relatively relaxed there on his chair. You allow it. I'm really worried because, like you say, we don't necessarily know exactly how the Silas is going. Oh, okay. Man. We got a gank in the mid lane. Cover is burning to death, and that's going to be first blood going over to Malrong. We'll have out of the Challenger Korea team. Yep, and now Malrong's back again. He's doing? gonna find another stun and cover. The Ducted stun all too easy. I think Spirit still is worse stat. As uh, there's a flash from Linderong. We're gonna start this one off very aggressively, and I don't even right. think he even he's gonna start fighting as Malrong's gonna make his way into the mid lane yet again. Flashes and cover is dead. He needs a deep lane. It is really oceany. As our secret's gonna make his way in, Weaver's wall's there for Kakao. He's such high level for this state of the game. As Trigger is gonna go down first, though. It's a one for one so far as Kellen. He's running for the hills, but he ain't got anywhere to go. The flash was already flash down. But to each their own, and we'll boost his damage here. As Grace is gonna face check, Solar Play comes down. Hell of a lot of damage. Just because of how things go, she wants you to come to her, and exactly what's going to happen now is there's the leap of faith. Ixu wants to be able to find it as Linderung's spirit is getting smashed down. And look at the healing available from this tentacle smash. Doesn't even have Death Dance yet. Oh, but shows Grace how is scary coming. it's going to be as the crocodile turns up. What? Flashes in, cover is going to get sliced, going to get diced. Are we going to have another Q? The answer is yes, because the Spear of Sojin's already there and just moves on in to take down Ixu very comfortably. Does so, we're not going to be able to find anything. That's, this isn't what he wants, is he's going to stop watch underneath the turret, avoids the seismic shove in secret, trying to tank this one up. He's going to do so very nicely. But it's... <laughs> Soul player is going to oh, land, oh. and that's going to land onto the Alawi like you were talking about, but you really need to kill her. She gets off the ultimate, and the flash out from Grace. He knows that it's a huge problem. It isn't even trade given how far ahead Jin Air were. There we go. That test of spirit goes down immediately, and now Root is out of the fight, but that's going to be one kill going over. She's out of mana. secret, though. Yeah, Ixu can't press enough buttons, but Linderung, oh my god, he stays alive. Trigger in the back line, Malrung. Dives on top of him and Root has now found an opportunity to get back into this fight. Immediate stopwatch there from Linderong as Root takes down the Aatrox. Trigger was trying to dive on top. He gets into position. The Baron has been started though. This is super dangerous for Jin Air as Kellen at least has his passive running so he's not going to die to the Baron. And APK thinking about saying thanks for the leash because if Ixu can get here, get the tentacles set up, then now Jin Air has to come to him. Oh, this is terrifying as Marong does now have the culling available. Secret Marong, at full yeah. health and Baron now down to half. Marong is so far away from this though as the culling comes in once again. World Ender comes down. And there is the Void Seeker. Okay, in this game, their team composition with the Alawi holding it together. Well, Ixu. Oh, that great solar flare into the back line as Secret does go golden immediately. He's zoning so many members of Jyn Era's Kellen. Has to press his own stopwatch as the seismic shove was in position. But no one on Jyn has gone down just yet. Malrong picked out by the E from Ixu. As he's going to face check. Oh, no, it's a disaster for APK. The flash comes out, though. And he's going to go wide. That is a huge part of the damage, actually, out of Ixu. But they don't find their opportunity. Oh, my goodness, Root. He's going to have to flash there. But Secret dives in, and they can't get on to this Kaiser cover now diving, but I mean, he just doesn't really do too much. He's zero and seven, soon to be zero and eight, as Root does a hell of a lot of damage. Stacks up the Rage Blade, and now they got her. doesn't have anyone. Yeah, the Sun's come in, but now we've got the ultimate. Oh God, just not doing enough. And Jin Air may have found the team Another fight. Lands, this time on the Malrung, who wants to be able to take that one away as we're checking out the side lanes. This is what we were talking about. APK in control. Six is pushed into the team. Good God. The damage is disgusting. Oh, but she's they down. managed to take him down. And they traded only for the Volley Bear a secret. Oh, God. Root dives into the back line. The AoE is gigantic. Almost a huge mistake. That's it. Instead, it's a triple kill. And now Kakao has to run down the river. In order river. to save this game. And Root looking for the dive. He's really fast. Wait, that what are they doing? Oh, my God. Okay. That was weird. Stats might actually put this in favor of APK. And 20 Kellen's seconds on TP. Kakao, he can flash in to try and be the savior, but no, it's going to be the turn. It's now Root with the supercharger. Can he stay alive is the question. The answer is no, as the gigantic burn damage from this Elder Drake is disgusting. And now Kakao is fighting Linderong, and it's not fair. Triple kill. And he's going, and one, he's one going more time. for it again. 
He's super speedy. But uh, I don't think he's going to be able to save it this time. There's no Baron buff, and they are going to be able to at least try and kill this bear. But look at that. That's going to be the ace. Ten seconds on anyone's availability. And APK going to even out this series. Jinna had a lot of... I don't want to give him too many compliments just because the Aatrox had a rough time. But good God, Kakao, what is that damage? Well, he did... He did 35,000, but the MVP is definitely the Alawi pick. Yes, true. Definitely.